Previously on The Blast. Megan, I am so bored. Uh Molly had this message for Katy Perry. Yeah. Katie, if you're watching, which I'm sure she is because she's a huge Blast fan, don't be afraid to give me a bell. And told us who we should chat to next. I think you should give Megan Moira Lanning a call. Um, we had a Zoom date last week, actually, and she was a barrel of laughs. Hey everyone, we're back and look who's let us into her home. It is uh, the one and only Megan Moira Lanning. There she is. Hello. How you doing? Welcome to the Black hey. Series. <laughs> Thank you. It's good to be here. Looking forward to it. Hey, we've learned a couple of things about you straight off the top. Firstly, you are a, a barrel of laughs on Zoom. Uh, keen to know if that's true or not. And uh, your middle name's Moira. Um, is that a family name? Yes, Moira is uh, my granny's name, so running in the family. And uh, yeah, Molly saying I'm a barrel of laughs, I'm not sure about that. That's very generous of Molly, but I'll certainly take it, that's for sure. And Mel, don't know your middle name, Jones. Do you want to fill in that gap for us? Well, there's there's no gap to fill in. So no middle name, which is very rare for a cricketer. Um, I was known as Forceps Jones at the hospital for quite <laughs> some time. Mum was expecting a boy, so I didn't have any girls' names lined up. So I'm lucky I've got a first name, really. <laughs> Megs, um, you are probably one of the most prepared cricketers going around. Now, for this Zoom party that Molly Strano sort of alluded to, you, uh, your preparation wasn't, wasn't on song, though, because your bottle of Shiraz wasn't quite the bottle of Shiraz you wanted, was it? No, it, it turned out to be a sparkling Shiraz, which I only noticed when I popped the cork out and it sort of exploded. <laughs> uh, Something's wrong here, not sure what, what's happening. So I read the bottle and it said sparkling Shiraz and it was delicious. I'm not sure what it was, how it got into my house or when, when I got it, but <laughs> it, was, uh, it was beautiful, so I really enjoyed it. Tell us a bit more about what you've been up to in isolation. How, how are you keeping yourself busy? Uh, well, the extent of it at the moment is pretty much eating and exercising. Uh, so that's pretty much what I've been doing most of the time. I've been doing a little bit of study on my level three um, coaching program, a little bit. You, you talk about eating. Breakfast is probably one of your probably most ideal dinners or meals going around. How's the poached eggs coming? You're a poached eggs girl. I know some people are scrambled, some are fried. Surely you can make the perfect poached eggs at home now. No, no, well, this is the problem. I, I can't. I lose all the white bit on it. And so I've just gone back to, to frying my eggs. Frying my eggs or omelette, uh, I've gotten a bit lazy. So I think over the next little bit, I'll actually have to learn how to do it properly because I do love my poached eggs and I'm certainly missing them. <laughs> the other thing too is that like, I, I look back at the World Cup and it's still like the most, the biggest sporting event and the last one we've ever seen. Uh, you guys just turned it on, brought your A-game there. We had Katy Perry, we had 86,174 people there. Do you ever think to yourself, can it get any better than that? Uh, I do, all the time. And given we've got a little bit of time to reflect and think <laughs> about what happened, uh, it happens a bit. The other question I ask is, did it actually happen? Uh, because it was just so surreal. Like, the whole event, the lead up, you know, couldn't have really asked for any more and uh, for us to put on our best performance of the tournament, you know, probably our best performance in a couple of years on, on the biggest stage and I guess to be able to enjoy it for the last five or six overs in the field, it's very rare that you get to do that in T20 cricket and um, yeah, it was just such an amazing night and yeah, certainly one I reflect on a lot. Is it five overs of knowing you've won the game, you as a captain, who very focused captain, did you allow the players and yourself just to enjoy it? Were you in that much control of the game just to say, Let's just soak it all up. Uh, yeah, there was a little bit of both. We were obviously saying, let's just keep going, because we wanted to bowl them out. Um, I think it might have been a little bit of a letdown, I guess, if they just blocked out the last few overs. So we wanted to get them out. So we were still really driven. But when we were in the huddle getting wickets, there was lots of smiles, and um, everyone just really was really happy, I guess. And I remember uh, when they put the phone lights on and the, everyone was moving their lights on their phone. Me, um, Ash Gardner and Rachel Haynes just looked at each other and just laughed and smiled. And that's one of the, the things I remember the most is just yeah, being able to take it all in. How many times have you watched it back, the final and, and those winning moments since it happened? Yeah, I haven't watched the whole game, um, but I've watched yeah the highlights a little bit. My favourite bit is when Ash Gardner takes the catch at the end and the roar of the crowd and yeah, just being able to celebrate, run around like idiots for a little bit. I'm really glad she caught it because we were all actually two metres from her and if we'd had to go back to our field positions, I think it would have been a little bit a little bit awkward. Yeah, I get goosebumps still thinking about it. It was just yeah, such an amazing thing to be a part of. 
did you have a, a favourite game over the World Cup? Take take the World Cup final out of it. But when you yeah. look back on the tournament, what was the one that you just sat back at and sort of said? Because it would have been probably the toughest tournament for you as a, as a captain and as a leader to, to lead. Uh, I think overall it was the semi-final, uh, just because of the whole build-up to the to the day, um, the fact that it was raining the whole day. We didn't think we were going to play. I remember on the bus going to the ground, and it was pouring with rain. And I was just like, "Man, there's no way we're getting on here." We knew the game before us had been washed out, and yeah, it was just sort of that sort of switch of mindset. I guess when we found that we were playing, and then um, I remember saying to Moddy at the halfway mark when we batted our 20 overs, I was like, I think it'd be worse if we get washed out now after we'd gotten on and played played half the game and felt like we were in it. So it was just constantly being on edge of, of worrying about not getting the game in, and then for it to be so close at the end there, um, I don't think I felt so sick or stressed in a fielding innings than I did during that game we just never felt safe and, and always felt like you know we, we had to just keep going right to right to the end so uh, to get through that and, and win uh, i think um, yeah that's probably my favorite game best on ground at the world cup final after party <laughs> uh it's probably a three horse race erin burns Mo molly strano and sophie molly probably no surprise i mean they were the three lead dancers on the on the stage and they, they carried that on throughout the night. You don't have to feel like a waste of space. Your original cannot be replaced. If you only knew what the future holds after a hurricane. What? Maybe a reason why. Hey, I heard you say the other day that you haven't given your, your WBBL future too much thought, so don't worry, we're not going to ask you uh, <laughs> you're going to end up at. but. Mel's got a, a Zoom party tonight and she wanted to know what colour to wear. Mel? So, um, you'd probably sort of know that kind of colour and <laughs> you know, I think that would go okay. Um, I, there's, a, there's a green top which looks pretty good and, there's a, and then, then I've got a red one as well. So, <laughs> did you have a preference for top for, for you, I mean me to wear tonight? <laughs> Uh, no, I'll look, I think they'll all look good on you, Jonesy. I, I'm not sure I can I can pick one, um, but... Uh, I'll, I'll yeah. just layer it. I'll do a little bit of a Whitney Houston and just keep oh. changing as the night goes on. Yeah, change every hour or so and just oh. see what happens. Okay. I mean, <laughs> we need to get some new clothes, Mel, because those tops look identical. <laughs> 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 okay, guys, it's time for everyone's favourite segment, I Sew and Tell. Meg, what are you going to show yeah. us? What have you got for us? Okay. Well, I'm going to start off with the um, with the one that I, you know, is very important here. I've got, uh, getting out with that biting me. Uh, here he is. The last listeners who watched um, when Alex came to my house, this is Ben the Cat. He uh, has been keeping me company for the last few weeks. So he is made for isolation. He just sleeps all day. I mean, this is brilliant. So, uh, yeah, this is little Ben and he's keeping me company throughout the isolation period. Why Ben, Meg? Uh, I didn't name him. He's actually technically my sister's cat. Um, I've been looking after him. For Another years. acquired item on the blast. Molly yeah. Steiner's acquired a few yeah. of these. Yeah. <laughs> and up until isolation period, he was very much an outdoor cat. Um, but I figured I need a bit of a friend, so he's he's allowed in occasionally throughout the day. So he's pretty happy with that, I think. Especially given this Melbourne weather, it's freezing. Now, Beautiful second name. item. And this is probably the most important coffee beans. So I can't get out and buy your coffee as much. So I've got gotten into the habit of making it. Still trying to master the art of it. So here's my coffee beans. And I also purchased a hand grinder. So I do it myself, but I get up, wake up and in the morning and do that. It's a bit of a workout, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I have to keep swapping, I have to keep swapping arms. So uh, yeah, that's been keeping me busy, which is very important. And lastly with your poached eggs. Yes, yes, very important. And last but not least, my really big weight. Uh, this is two kilos, this one. So yeah. I've been doing bicep curls every day with this weight. Uh, not sure I'm going to get uh, big muscles with the two kilo weight, but I'm trying to make the most of what I've got. So they're my three things that I'm, I've got at the moment. Love it, Meg. And, and just very quickly, we are looking for a sponsor for this segment as well. But um, what coffee do you drink? What's your what's your coffee of choice? It's at the moment, it's just sort of like a long black, I guess, with no milk. But I'm I'm working on getting a milk frother. That's my next purchase item. So look out next time. I might have that to show you as well. 
That's hard. So once the isolation's over, we'll, the blast will come over and you'll put on breakfast for us, yeah? Yeah, I'll have mastered it by then. <laughs> <laughs> We've let us into your house. It's the second time you've let us into your house, so we appreciate that. Hey, um, we need you to tell us who we should chat to next. They can be Aussie, they can be international. We've got a huge budget here, so who do you recommend yeah. you talk to? I'm going to say uh, Sophie Devine from New Zealand. She's quite quite smart and entertaining, uh, so I reckon she'd be a good one to check in with. She's been good to us, so she's done the stump challenge, uh, unlike you two. Thanks for... Well, I don't have a stump. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a bat a stump. I don't, I don't know how I can do it. I, I feel like it's competing if you do it with a bat man. You can do it with anything. You can do it with a wine bottle, Mel. <laughs> okay, I will put something out today. Okay, good. Meg, thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. Glad you've got Ben to keep you company and uh, cannot wait to see you back out there soon, hey? Cool. No worries. Thanks for having me. Thank yes, you. Thanks, Meg. See you next time. Will do. Bye, guys.